This is what I call a flash forward. You've seen such examples in TV shows like Heroes, Desperate Housewives and Lost. Well, you guys are probably wondering why on earth have I brought a flash forward into my show? Because this is why. My laptop crashed last night, which means the last month of footage and everything that I've been working on is now being zilch. It's finished. It's vanished. So if I, I don't know if I can get into my hard drive or not. But that's okay. The show must go on. And you know what? It is present day Brisbane and a lot has happened since my trip up in Townsville. So I'm going to get you guys caught up to date with that. But first, here's the new opening credits. Here's the site that I am now back on YouTube. And here's a flash backwards to catch you up to date. So, queuing flash backwards. Okay, just one quick question for you. Straight boy. Now, this has been going for about a week now. Is it about a week? Yeah, it's been about a week and a bit since we've been back from Brisbane. Okay, so your toss ups are what? How do you feel in that situation? Like, See, I really like his personality. He's got one of those. He's a, he's a bit of a different kind of. Right? He's unique. Well, anyway, the situation is, Bruce events is, he kind of likes one of my mates. It happens. I get it a lot. My mates are gorgeous. What can I say? But the thing that's also happened is, he recently found out that I like him. Now. We, me and my mate have been questioning what's going to happen. Is he going to come to me? And we seem to think he might come to me and bring that up. So, everyone else thinking, what are you saying to her? Like, what do you have to do when someone comes up to you and says, oh, I heard you like me? Well, I'm thinking he comes up to me and like, hey, Chad, I heard you like me. I'm thinking, sausage. I could do sausage. Or that he could be coming up to me and he's like, Chad, I heard you like me. And I'm like, and what do you want me to say to that? See, there's a lot of phrases that you can use. Chad, I heard you like me. Oh, really? That's, that's nice. Oh, that's there's, pleasant. There's some more. Or they could be, Chad, I heard you like me. You heard fucking wrong, fuck off, cunt. <laughs> fuck off. Listen here, take your straight ass and fuck off. So that's how you deal with a straight blade that you wanted nothing to do with? Maybe. But Maybe. there's also more. And so, here's the straight man. Scenario. So, straight man has found out that gay friend A likes him, but straight man is also going for gay mate B. Thus, this is the situation. What's going to happen? He's now faced with the gay guy liking him, while he's also attracted to the other gay guy. Also dealing with the fact that he's straight. This is a bit interesting. Just how will it unfold? Alright, we've got Chad Watson in the house in Townsville. How are we going tonight? Um, very trash. Feeling so, very vertically trash. We know. What huh? more could you want? I don't know, what more do you want? Well, I know what more I would want right now, but we're not going to go into that. So we're just going to leave it at that? Yeah. Really big. And a bit rough. Who are we talking about? Uh, the straight boy. Oh, uh, not the guy that we've been talking about all night, Nelly. I know, how tragic is that? Like, seriously. It's he's hot, and I he's think hard. he's got a huge penis. Yeah, I, I think he's got a huge penis too. And you know what, I think he's gorgeous and stuff, but I think he's just like all those other guys out there that pretend to be the naive, straight, like curious guys. We know you've played around with other gay guys before us, but not stupid. So just be real. Okay, do you need more cash? Does he need more cash? Or no? Does he need cash or credit? Okay, everybody gets some credit these days, don't they? I need to shut up right now. How do you feel about the whole situation with the straight guy? Like, what's your views? How do you feel about it all? <sighs> Confused, really, because the first time in ages since my last shitty relationship, I've actually considered on um, maybe hooking up with this guy for the first time in a long time and my best mate 
guys are so into him, it's not funny. So therefore I'm thinking maybe what the suit comes out top or we'd both just wipe our hands with it and leave it. What's your ideal option? With the whole situation? Yeah. I don't know, because I can't really sit here and lie to you or lie to this fucking camera and whoever's going to watch this footage that if I'm off tops, man, and I'm... Uh, yeah, I can't say nothing's going to happen, so i just say that. i just leave it at that. One quick pop quiz. Uh, how are you looking for your new year this year? Um, and I'm what? Having... Um... This guy called Chad is coming. Yes. And Chad's uh -huh. the man. Yes. Except he fucking had a girl before. Why? I'm a fucking I bitch. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I wrote a letter. It's okay. You I wrote know, a letter. Know, yeah, I wrote a letter to the oh, Being Bitch me. Club. I was like, do you miss the Being Bitch Club? I am a single white homosexual in Australia. <laughs> You're gonna know. Are you okay? Are you alive? Yeah, yeah. This is so gonna it. fucking pass out on that shit up. Yeah, don't go, don't go to sleep on the toy toy. You'll die of stench. <laughs> and I'm sure all of us are gonna need it later on. <laughs> so you better get the fuck out. <laughs> Love you. Love you. <laughs> 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 Do you like this song? Man, I love this song. It's like walking on a dream. It's like really, really deep for me. I just fucking uh, fuck me in the ass quick now. <laughs> <laughs> So it's the day after, I vomited up my guts last night and then pretty much passed out and now I'm up again with beads and I'm ready just to go all out and have a blast today and it's already becoming a very trashy day. I'm seeing my mother for the first time tomorrow in five years. Um, am I looking forward to it? I guess ultimately it's mixed emotions, like we've never really been close and well, I don't know if fate's had its way and we're catching up again for the first time in five years. So yeah, it's very strange, I've spoken to her on the phone, there was about a two year period where I didn't talk to her whatsoever, like we had a bit of a fallout on that and so yeah, the last time I saw her, I was living in Byron Bay, that was before I even moved to Brisbane, and everything, and I'm a completely different person now. And that's the thing that freaks me out, it's like, is she going to be coming and expecting me to be the Chad that she knew back then, because, guess what, Mum, I'm not, and I never will be. So, yeah, um, got kind of mixed emotions with it all. Like, really, ultimately, I think I'm doing the, this whole thing with her, letting her come up to see me and that, mainly because it's for her benefit. Like, I'm pretty independent. I live my life the way I do now, where all I give a shit about is my two best mates and a few other people that are really close. But with regards to everything else, I'm pretty much not a family person. I've learnt to live away from the family and I'm very independent that way. Like my friends and my family, if that makes sense. So yeah, um, it's going to be strange seeing my mum again and um, it's going to be different.